Lord, as we pray for Noah, pray for. Thank you for the time we share. Thank you for His willing heart to heed and practice wisdom. I thank you that in His young age, you have shaped His heart, shaped His the pastor His His life to one who loves you, honors you, and willing to serve you. Willing to know you in uh, in truth and in spirit. Therefore, at this very moment, it's eleven eleven. I just pray that uh, you touch his spirit and give him alignment. Uh, let's see two things, Lord. One is the blessedness of his life in you in the first present season. Allah, the Lord, if possible, reveal, reveal your 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 destiny for him, that it is a future, that it to be unfold, and uh, therefore, the the present and the things to come, can 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 come to a full picture for him, Lord. Then he will know, that is your hand, is guiding, his life, and your heart. Is, uh, is is inspire his heart, his spirit, and I pray that it, all that his makeup, intelligence, the emotions, the whatever Lord there, you you will continue to 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 discipline, regulate, and teach, and and anoint and empower Lord, and uh, more than sustain, uh, but. To a place that he will become a one, unified as one, one person, more than in a personality way as he described, but in one spirit, one heart, one mind, with you, Lord. And he will learn to love you. He will learn to serve you. He will learn to also teach your ways, Lord. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Amen. You have a vision, tell us. Hmm? <clears throat> First vision I saw was that the sunrise behind a mountain range, mm. and then, interestingly, right where the sun was beginning to rise behind this mountain range, mm. um, directly where the sun was, the mountains behind or in front of the sun there mm -hmm. were almost like pulled down as with as if with like a hook or something mm. to where the mountain range itself was bent in mm. this pool like almost like the mountain range was stretchable oh wow. okay. and you'd think that it doing so would reveal the full circle of the sun behind it as it was in the process of rising yes. uh, behind the mountain range i see but it really just revealed a brighter light beneath where the sun was rising from Mm. And it was like an intense brightness in this area. Yes. And it was almost like in the opening to another realm mm. through this light oh. that was revealed by pulling these mountain, mm. this mountain range down. Mm. So the mountain range had been previously covering this uh, intense bright light that almost mm. led into another this realm. Passage of life, it's a, a passage of life. Okay. Yeah. Mm. That's what I saw in the first vision. Mm. Well, that's what God did today. Mm. The mountain is the things we set up, and things in the mountain are always talking about different gods. But the more we discuss about its different culture, different ways envisioning about it, and right? So yeah. So go ahead. Um, <coughs> my second vision I saw was like a. Uh, a truck that was carrying in the back a collection of boxes and packages like it was transporting it um, and it was like on the side of a cliff and one of the there all the boxes had been tied down as with straps and one of these boxes uh, happened to fall off the truck um, just a medium-sized rectangular box and fell down to the cliffside 
mm-hmm. to the left side of the truck, and it tumbled down, uh, and below was this green, old, foresty area. And I saw that from this box, when it finally got to the very bottom of the cliff, it kind of crashed. It broke open and spilled uh, almost an innumerable amount of seeds. Mm. And instantly, as if it was some kind of explosion what from this box, innumerable. just like almost an uncountable amount of seeds. Wow, that's a lot of seeds. Yeah, and you you would think that there would be a limited amount, obviously a lot yeah. in a box, but it uh-huh. just the interesting part was that when it fell, instead of just spreading seeds everywhere, yeah, it almost exploded across yeah. the entire landscape. You know, did the whole thing. Okay, and yeah. it didn't just spread seeds. The seeds instantly, when hitting the ground, grew into or replaced the previous trees there, so it almost transformed the entire landscape. I don't understand that part instantly. What happened? The, the seed, what did he do to the so, landscape? The landscape changed from being like green forest pine trees uh-huh. to being like that of an orchard. Orchid. Uh, what's the word? An orchard? I can't think of the right word. Like a place where there's a bunch of fruitful trees. Oh, orchard. Orchard. Yeah, <laughs> orchard. orchard. Yes, it's orchard. Sorry about that. It's okay, no. Orchard, it's yes. Orchard, orchard. yeah. yeah. Oh wow! Uh, so, trees, uh, various fruits of different kinds, just give me a hint of what it transformed the landscape. Apple, peach, whatever. Yeah, it's, this kind of trees. It was, it was like a, a an orchard or a garden. Oh, garden! Oh, After wow. that box had fell from the cliffside, it changed the entire landscape. No, like, what kind of seed are we talking about? Well, obvious. I mean, I didn't have any clear distinction on the seed, but it was very. It seemed like very small seeds um mm. but the most interesting part was the fact that it didn't seem to take any amount of time for it to for it to replenish the whole complete, it was like mm-hmm. the image looked like it exploded across oh wow like the whole landscape was affected transformed from one state to another almost as if it it was like a rippling effect mm. across the let's landscape. talk about the truck and the boxes on the back what what it looked like um, basically like a, a delivery truck. A delivery truck. Okay. Um, so it was just Small a truck. Trucking, all this. Yeah. The interesting part was it wasn't in like a metal container. These boxes you could see were on like a platform that was oh, hooked oh, to the back of I the truck. See. They were strapped down. Strapped down. Boxes of various sizes and I'm sure with uh, with, various... With the uh, driving, we have any emotion. I don't know. Yeah. It was just the truck that I noticed. Mm. Um and this box that had fallen off seemed to have been probably not or wasn't uh, secured well enough for it to have mm-hmm. held onto the truck which is why it tumbled off that's very interesting huh? yeah that's a strange reason there and the the box itself seemed to just be kind of like a one of many like there was no particular significance of this box yeah until obviously it fell off the cliff side and made a <laughs> yeah. huge impact on well the I think that's world. a good picture of describing the wisdom of the Lord am I right yeah hmm. and can, can produce so much life so much fruits you know right. so yeah it's very interesting yeah hmm That is very interesting. Yeah. yeah, no. I think the first vision is about what's happening right now. The second vision we're talking about, I pray for two things, am I right? So, is about what will happen to your, your life in the future. Hmm. I think the boss itself is you. God can use you to, to do amazing things, you know, so, to teach a generation. Hmm. Well, close your eyes. I think the Lord not done yet with you. So, you know, I was just pray for an open hand waiting for you. Like, Alaba, my son, the Lord, I just pray, Father in heaven, touch this son, this servant, and encourage him. Even today, as he is seeking wisdom, understanding, your servant Paul said, I pray the spirit of wisdom, spirit of understanding will be given.
so that the eyes of your heart or the window or the doorway of your heart will be opened. And I'll pray for that doorway or that window of his heart that the light will come in to, to, to inundate him with your love, with your immense power, the power not to show to the world, but the power of who you are, the power of your life, the power that he exerted in Christ Jesus more than gave him resurrection love, but elevated him to the throne and the right hand, all authority power given to him to be the head of the church, so that kind of power, Lord, I pray this powerful internal life, also the power to exercise authority and purpose as the ministry of your grace, of the grace of God in the kingdom. So I pray as now in this prayer, answer him in this region. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead. saw some pretty interesting things. Uh, first, I was seeing numerous images of, uh, I guess to put it bluntly, these different demonic influences. Mm. Like, I was at first seeing the continuous symbol of, uh, I forget exactly, I think it was like a, even a satanic symbol of the star. Um, it's the five-sided star. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I don't know what that name either. So yeah, I really don't know much about it either. But um, yeah. I know it's resembles something demonic. Mm -hmm. And then another image to kind of the these almost black fortresses. I didn't have much distinction because it was kind of like a a slide image of something that I didn't have. A detailed okay, like view of like what do you call it? Okay, like I a hear stronghold. It. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then also like these almost these setting up of like almost what seem like Greek pillars, uh, like in a circle, like these ancient Roman or ancient Greek uh, pillars that were set up that almost seemed to resemble obelisk. Symbol. obelisk? Something like yeah, Obelisk, something like that. Like a Washington Monument, that's kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. That were being set up in like a circle, so all these kind of happening at once. That's not from Greek. I think it's from Egypt to begin with. So go ahead. Yes. Possibly, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it seemed that all this was creating, or was causing the sky overhead to loom up into like this a storm. So like gray. Uh, very large gray clouds were forming over mm. this. Oh, when there's yeah, over clouds. this okay. corrupted. Oh, this is sky. I'm sorry. Almost evil. Uh, in warm, in atmosphere. Yeah. yeah, these events that were taking place on Earth, mm. and I saw from like a different kind of higher perspective that above. Oh, hold on, in the symbols uh, that evidently demonic forces yeah. demonic dark. But the, the obelisk is a visit a pillar of stone, then, right? That's yeah. astral poles used to what it look like. So. Right. Yeah. Good. Um, and this, as my perspective changed, kind of being, I, like kind of having a, an aerial view of what was happening, mm. I was able to look up and see that above these ominous gray clouds mm. were basically rolling and quickly moving white clouds influenced mm. by the light above mm. so almost was as if I was seeing the the uh, what's the word the action or the uh, formation mm. the the influence of uh, another realm almost happening above this the above the earth the impact Mm, what word. So these rolling white clouds almost begin to take 
uh, form for one second and would be gone uh, very quickly. So it was rapidly happening. So I'd see like the form of a figure, like a, almost like a human figure, mm. but then would it, it was like it's really hard to explain because of how uh, fast the transform. Like detail it was, but it was oh. like above the white clouds were moving and transforming as you could see clouds in, ti- in a time lapse would. Oh yes. Happening very quickly, and every once in a while they'd come together in a form of another of like a like a silhouette of another creature she, almost. She, like a, a human being. So uh, okay. various various times, yeah. Okay. And it just seemed like the corruption below was causing. Obviously, like I mentioned earlier, was causing this ominous black cloud, which on the bottom surface mm-hmm. was black and ominous, but on the top was being almost mm-hmm. controlled by whatever this the heavenly forces. force was. Okay. Okay. Um, but it almost looked like there was a very soon coming time of judgment mm. um, because of the fo- it was like that's that's what all that's what. Uh, Storms usually imply sure. is a and coming force. Yeah, yeah, um, and that's what I, that's all I saw. Mm. Well, reply you prefer. I don't have a lot of understanding. You can imply a lot of things in my eyes, but uh, mm-hmm. I don't have an accurate application for this word, this region. So I would think that's the present world, you know, spiritual environment over this 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 earth in my eyes. So mm-hmm. the uh, looming or changing the that's called the culmination of the ages, you know, come to formation of some force ready to break through, and right? the kingdom of God might do some changes there. So. Mm. But who ruled the real atmosphere, and right? the God, the force that from the kingdom, is actually rules everything about everything. So, right. Yeah. Go ahead. You know what Ashra Post stands for? Human strength. Mm. Yeah. The pride of man. It it evolved almost through history as, like you mentioned, from earlier civilizations to the Greek civilization, always that pole that supported supported the foundation of human strength. Yeah. Yeah. And human greatness almost. Yeah. It's interesting, you know, it started Ashra Post. I don't necessarily know the exact history of detail, but I do read a certain things. Um, it's more than astropause. It's in different places have different sayings, and they call different things, or even attribute different gods. But the major one is actually always hewn from the place called the Ashram, hmm. which is the stone of the temple was hewn. Now, and this is my point, you know, so. Uh, it's also the stones that they used to build the pyramid. Mm. So those kind of holes often found around the pyramids, you know, so in Egypt. So when Roman began to conquer and rule Egypt, what happened, they began to take notice of these kind of things. They began to use a shape, it's a lot of work to move those things around them, right? Somehow it's miraculous they did it. They moved those rocks to Roman, the city, can you believe that? Oh. and set things up there. So when different nations begin to build their city, huge structures become the prize, that they will move one or build one in their city, you know, so often to do with demonic worship, you know, yep. Ashra poles. So it's kind of stuff even exist. I think when again, and now in Washington, and there is an atmosphere God symbol, you know, so. Yeah. God in the Bible clear told them they are picking worship so yeah mm. go ahead well Lord truly we trust and have faith in you and all things Father Lord in so many circumstances Lord in 
through so many events you have shown us the corruption Lord and the perversity of the world Lord we know that this world grows to Lord a further darkness Lord and the many influences that are not Lord and of your spirit Father Lord but we pray and know that as we mature as sons we will walk within this world as Lord sons of light Lord those sons who have obtained your wisdom and Lord even share it unto others who are lost in this darkness Lord according to your word Lord and the the leading of your spirit so Lord I pray that in this way we would not seek to understand things according to Lord our own perspectives and mindsets Father mm. but Lord know that this we we cannot even do so Lord if we are actively Lord living and flowing in your river and way of life mm. Lord which will ultimately lead us mm. in every word we speak mm. every thought we have every action we take mm. so Lord I pray that this truth Lord and this goal would, would be our greatest and utmost desire within our heart within our hearts mm. Lord and in the very forefront of our minds and the way we make decisions whether they be great or small mm. so Lord I bless this upon your people and your sons in Jesus name, mm. Mm. Jesus Amen. Name. Amen